Hello and welcome po ulit sa Pinay Cooking Lessons. For today, we're going to cook another favorite Filipino ulam and this is chop suey. Chop suey is primarily vegetable based pero since meron na rin tayong halong meat at iba pang mga ingredients dito, halos complete meal na rin ito in itself. Ang mga ingredients na kailangan natin para sa ating chop suey ay For our first ingredient, ang kailangan natin ay 250 grams ng sliced chicken breast. So, pwede rin ang gamitin nyo dito instead of chicken ay pork. 10 to 15 pieces ng shrimps, shelled and deveined. So, iiwan po natin na intact yung kanyang tail end. 2 to 3 pieces ng chicken liver. 3 to 4 pieces ng chicken gizzard or yung tinatawag natin na balun-balunan, sliced. 1 small head ng cauliflower, separated into florets. 3 to 4 stems ng celery. Slice diagonally, 1 each of red and green bell pepper, seeded and cut into triangles, 1 small cabbage cut into squares, 1 small bok choy, napa cabbage or pechay bagyo, sliced, 2 or 3 pieces ng small carrots, peeled and sliced diagonally. We also need 1 to 200 grams ng snow peas or chicharo. This is an optional ingredient. I happen to love mushroom so much. So, ito ay lalagyan natin. Pero sa talagang recipe ng uh, chop suey, hindi po talaga nilalagyan ng mushrooms. 1 tablespoon ng finely minced garlic. 1 third cup ng chopped onions. 1 nor chicken cube. A tablespoon of cornstarch mixed with a little bit of water. We also need pepper and salt or patis to taste. A few drops of nor liquid seasoning. A few drops of sesame oil. And a little bit of canola oil for sauteing. At yan ang mga ingredients sa kailangan natin for this recipe. Kapag ako'y gumagamit ng liver sa pagluluto, hindi ko agad ito hinihiwa. I boil it first para hindi masyadong messy hiwain. So itong ating chicken liver ay ilalagay muna natin dito sa ating pot together with a cup of water. And to this, isasama na rin natin yung ating gizzard or yung balun-balunan. Yung ating liver, medyo lulutuin lang natin ng konti bago natin hiwain. And then yung ating gizzard, since medyo matigas yan, kailangan palambutin natin. So, nag a ako ng kaunting salt dito sa ating liver and balun-balunan para may lasa na sila. And then, once nag-firm up na yung ating liver, pwede na natin tong alisin. Saka natin hihiwain. Itong ating gizzard, iiwan muna natin dito at papalambutin natin ng konti. So, takpan muna natin. Check muna natin itong ating balun-balunan. So, I added a little bit more ng water dito sa ating gizzard kasi matigas pa siya kanina uh, at kukonti na yung tubig. So, hintayin natin ito na lumambot bago natin gamitin. So, ngayon na malambot na ito, alisin muna natin ito dito sa ating pot. Sasama natin pati yung sabaw niya. And then, using the same pot, mag a ng kaunting oil dito. And then, kapag ka mainit na yung ating oil, ilalagay natin yung ating garlic. Susutay natin ito bali hanggang maging fragrant yung ating garlic. And then, kapag ka-fragrant na yung ating garlic, isasama na rin natin yung ating onions. So, susutay din natin ito hanggang maging transparent naman yung ating onions. Then, kapag ka naging medyo transparent na yung ating onion, sasama na natin dito yung ating chicken. And then, hihigisa natin ito hanggang mag-brown yung ating chicken. And then, kapag ka hindi na-taste yung ating chicken, i-add na rin natin ulit dito yung ating liver. Pati na rin yung ating balun-balunan or gizzard. So, what's the other natin ating balun-balunan or gizzard? Medyo igigisa natin ito ng kaunti. And then, medyo isa-set aside natin ito sa gilid. Next, i-add natin yung ating shrimps. At medyo papupulahin natin yung ating shrimps. So, yung ating shrimps ay hindi ko sinasama sa whole duration ng pagluluto natin ng chop suey kasi ayoko na ma-overcook siya. So, once nag-turn ito ng pink, hahanguin natin yung ating shrimp. So, once naging pink na itong ating shrimp, saalisin na natin sa pot. At iseset aside muna natin. And 
Then, isasama natin yung ating broth na pinagpakuluan ng ating chicken gizzard. And, we're gonna add a little bit more ng water. Ia-add na rin natin dito yung ating North Chicken Cubes. We're also going to add a little bit of black pepper. A few drops of Maggi Sabor or North Liquid Seasoning. And a little bit of salt or patis. So, I use patis. So, at this point, adjust nyo na yung lasa ng inyong sauce kasi ia-add na natin yung vegetables bale. So, unahin natin ilagay yung ating mushrooms, yung ating cauliflower, yung ating carrots, yung ating celery, and our bell peppers. So, haluin muna natin ito. So, ayan muna natin na maluto ito ng konti bago natin i-add yung iba pa nating vegetables. Pagka po ako'y nagluluto ng vegetables, talagang malutong siya at hindi ko talaga niluluto ng masyado kasi ayoko ng vegetables na overcooked. Then once medyo nalanta na itong ating mga gulay, susunod naman natin yung ating chicharo, yung ating cabbage, and our pechay bagyo or bok choy. So hahaluin natin ito ulit. Then, nakayaan lang natin na medyo mag-wilt ng konti yung ating pechay, bagyo, and cabbage. I've added a little water dun sa ating cornstarch at gagamitin natin ito na pampalapot ng ating sauce. So, magdadagdag lang tayo a little at a time hanggang sa ma-achieve natin yung lapot na gusto natin para sa ating sauce. And then once na-achieve na natin yung lapot na gusto natin para sa ating sauce, i-add na natin yung ating inhiwalay na shrimps kanina. Give this a stir. At pwede na natin patayin yung apoy ngayon. And then right after natin patayin yung apoy, mag a tayo dito ng sesame oil. So yung sesame oil po, nagpapasarap yun sa chop suey. And then nahaluin natin ito ulit. So our chop suey is ready now. And this is how we're going to serve our chop suey. So ano pa nga ba ang masarap na kasama nito kung di mainit na kanin, di ba? Kung meron po kayong leftover nito, po pwedeng ang gawin ninyo is ihitat ninyo and then samahan ninyo ng pansit kanton. And then may bago na naman kayong dish na pwedeng iserve sa inyong pamilya. So simple lang yung ating recipe, although marami siyang ingredients na halo, pero napakadali nitong lutuin at napakasarap pa. So sana po ay nagsuhan nyo tong ating video for today at sana po ay itry nyo tong ating recipe. Maraming salamat po ulit sa panunood. Hanggang sa susunod.